My first monologue is from August Wilson's Jitney, where I will be playing the part of Rena, followed by William Shakespeare's Taming of the Shrew, where I will be playing the part of Katharina. <sighs> Darnell, I don't understand. I'm doing everything I can to try to make this work. I come home from work. I gotta go to the store. I go upstairs, look in the drawer, and the food money's gone. What did you need it for, huh? You tell me what's more important than me and Jesse eating because you know I don't touch the food money. Whatever happens, we have to eat. If I need clothes, I do without. All of my personal stuff, I do without. If we ain't got no electricity, I do without. But I don't never touch the food money. Because I'm not going to be that irresponsible to my child. Because he depends on me. Because I'm not going to be that irresponsible to my family. I ain't going to be like that. Jesse going to have a chance at life. He ain't going to school hungry because I spent the food money on some nail polish or afro sheen. He ain't laying up in bed hungry and unable to sleep because his daddy spent the food money to pay a debt. You know what you've been doing better than I. But whatever it is, it ain't enough. Thy husband is thy lord, thy life, thy keeper, thy head, thy sovereign. One that cares for thee and for thy maintenance commits his body to painful labor both by sea and land. To watch the night in storms, the day in cold, whilst thou liest warm at home secure and safe, and craves no other tribute at thy hands but love, fair looks, and true obedience. Too little payment for so great a debt. I am ashamed that women are so simple to offer war where they should kneel for peace or seek for rule, supremacy, and sway when they are bound to love, serve, and obey. My mind hath been as big as one of yours, my heart as great, my reason <laughs> happily more. To bandy word for word and frown for frown, but now, I see that our lances are but straws, our strength as weak, our weakness past compare that seeming to be most, which we indeed least are. Then veil your stomachs, for it is no boot, and place your hand below your husband's foot, in token of which duty, if he please, my hand is ready. May it do him ease. <laughs>